Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the Lynx AG3 unboxing and installation. Unboxing. Here is the Lynx AG3 series box. In the box, there is a quick installation guide, an accessory pack, terminating resistor, bracket, plastic cover. Here are the components included in the accessory box. Introduction of the battery. Take a look at the appearance of Lynx AG3 from different views. Lang is 442mm. Width is 133mm and the height is 520mm. Here is the parameter label of the battery. Top views of the Lynx AG3. There are many ports. Installation of the battery. Here are the main tools prepared for the installation of Lynx AG3. Lynx AG3 has two installation methods, stacking and wall mounting. The installation method for hanging installation is shown in the figure. Take out the triangular bracket. Drill the holes using a 8mm diameter percussion drill. Ensuring a depth of approximately 80mm. Use expansion bolts to attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Secure the triangular bracket to the wall and tighten the screws. Secure the battery handle to the bracket during installation. Finally, secure it with screws. The wall mounting of the Lynx AG3 is now complete. Next, we will demonstrate stacked installation. Remove the screws from the handles on both sides of the battery. As shown in the video find the right position to put the bracket into the battery and tighten the screws on both sides. Stack the two completed batteries in sequence. Use wire stripper to strip the wire insulation layer to a suitable length. Then insert the wire into the terminal. And compress it tightly with crimping pliers. Install the heat shrink tubing into the cable and blow it tight with a heat gun. Attach the ground wire to each of the two batteries. You can also connect the ground wire in this way. Use wire stripper to strip the wire insulation layer to a suitable length. Insert the striped wire into the terminal and compress it tightly. Install the heat shrink tubing into the cable and blow it tight with a heat gun. The other wire is made in the same way. Remove the protective cover on both sides of the battery. Attach the cables to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. Connect COM2 of battery 1 to COM1 of battery 2 with one of the communication cables. Connect one end of the other communication cable to COM1 of battery 1 and the other end to the inverter. Put the protective cover back on the battery. In the video, we are converging the battery cable and communication cable in a convergence box. Batteries are connected to the inverter via a battery combiner box. Turn on the battery switch and the inverter is up and running. The next step is to configure via SolarGo. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe Training Series, Please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.